welcome back so so far in all the previous sections of css we have got a clarity the usage of css in terms of appearance of the website or we can say web page to the html content from the structured layout to appearance part and we even already discussed how that you can apply something styles to the content with we can say hovering effects to the images we even already discussed the concept of working with the display and properties and even some conditional properties to the selectors additionally we even discussed the advanced level of bm concept and a simple landing page of pricing table with a grid column layout and a simple blob after all these points and the final in this section of css today now we are going to discuss how we can create a full page with menu, logo, whereas banner contains this with the different sections. Or it should look something very elegant and appearance of the content with the contents, fonts, size, uh, sorry, coloring, or so let's start with the concept of now we are going to create a new project in CSS. And let us say it is something like we can say portfolio or my portfolio or something else. So we are already into the root directory of CSS course. Let's create the directory say my hyphen portfolio that is giving information if you are the programmer if you are the designer if you are the person who wants to give information to your client what you do what are your services what are your uh what you can say projects and so on likewise that we are planning so in the root directory, which is we have created my hyphen portfolio. So make sure most of the times 99.99 percentage .99 and it's recommended. The file names that should be and the for and the folder names also that should be in lowercase. Second thing. If there are two words that you have planned like you can say my portfolio are the two words make sure to connect with hyphen symbol either in files or else we can say in the directories also right let's start then just load this folder into your visual studio code Here is a course, my portfolio. Then let's even keep it ready at this place in the output with my portfolio. Then create a file which is a root file, a landing page which it can be index and we are discussing still with the concept or this is a static page so you should give index.html if you are already aware of any other programming languages like maybe a java php python then the server side scripting languages will be having s the particular file name 
dot java or we can say particular file name dot css sorry uh, we can say py that is py for python whereas for php dot php like this but those are all server server side scripting languages we can say a back end technologies but we are not into that i am just giving an idea when you are creating a project the first file that needs to be created with index because when you deploy this project into the live into the server that means we can see the hosting then that will be given first preference obviously or automatically to the landing page that is nothing but indexing page we can say index that's the reason we give the first file a default which the server will pick up index dot php or java or html depends upon the technology wise it will give preference okay then once we created this index dot html let's add the kind html5 and then the concept that we are planning here is my portfolio so i'm just writing here my portfolio yes let's even start with the basic theme of css okay you can just create a separate folder but for timing in the same that is in the root directory here itself. I am creating the styles.css. It's your wish, style.css or styles.css, whatever you want. Okay, now the first point we plan or we are going to plan to use any different special font. There is an external font of the website. So go to Google. Then Google fonts. Click on fonts. This time previously somewhere else here and there we have gone with somewhere else with pop ins and something else so this time i just want to move something else different there is something monster it ah yeah yes you can choose it's your wish i am choosing this one for timing what is it mont select then just scroll down make it at least 300 that would be great okay better to go with 400 for this or is Let's check it or find it. OK, go with 400. That's enough. Because 300 here is something still. It is also OK for paragraphs and content. OK, we can just use. Select light 300. Then click on the top view selected families. Then. OK, let me just remove this one. Previously, we might have this one. Then. Go to style and copy that import then place in the very beginning and with semicolon also that's one now let's write the universal selector where a padding we don't want any space margin we don't want any space and the total page or website that will be or that should be under box, we can say border box. Then write some properties for HTML selector also. Here a default for the total website, I am just setting font size default as 16 pixels. At the same time, font family. So let's just go to here. 
and we have below this CSS rules right now. Just copy this font family mont set it and place here. Write the thing we have given the family mont select and additionally to these. OK, you can now leave it, close it. Then. Scroll. Behavior. Smooth, that is the page that should scroll smoothly. And then we will be using. It's mandatory, of course, it's common as a default, which is nothing but anchor element, something and like, something else here and there that's to create a link or to create a navigation like this so for timing i am just writing for an anchor element with a property text decoration that that is nothing but the underline that will be no i mean we are removing that underline and let's plan a class with container Now, let's right here. You can say minimum height of this container, hundred vertical height, whereas width it should be fully occupied. So we are writing with 100 percentage. And the items inside this that needs to be adjustable so we can say display flex. And then if only one item or two items depends upon this, the items that needs to be centered alignment. So for that we are writing align items center. At the same time, the content inside this we say that is also center. That's OK. Additionally, even we are going to write the image. OK, defaulty for IMG image element. So with. 100 percentage. Height. 100 percentage and object fit. It should be covered. Sorry. It should cover that box and then that is your if you observe a default things for anchor element for paragraph for image what are the basic properties that we can we are writing here and just say color font size 1.4 1.5 or as anything as we have seen from the beginning of CSS, if you just go through the three sections, the previous sections, we have discussed the points here in the pixels, even here also in the line number 20, VH, and somewhere else we have even discussed VW, that's vertical height, vertical width, and REM and EM also. These are the different measurements. Then setting some margin top five pixels, line height two point five REM, giving giving something gap from one line to another line. And font. Wait, we are using font same font, and we are just setting font weight three hundred. And letter spacing also you can write. Letter spacing 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 REM. This is what. OK. Now just go back to the HTML. Let's first 
check it out. Okay, we did not given any code here. Even we did not given a style sheet also. Let's link styles.css. The first one that we have planned to go with header. Here we will write header section and the point of we can say a logo displaying and something so on. So write a section with an ID header. Inside this, that is you have created a section concept of header. And inside this section, class header and write container. The meaning you are you even going to write some properties to the uh, header as already we have given something properties to the container. Let's do one thing. Let's save it and just check it out for each and every action what we are doing. Before going to the total end, let's even check it out here. Index.html. OK, nothing else. Now. Inside this. Let's write. You. A class. Now hyphen bar. And then do class brand. When you say in CSS, mostly in C, uh, the logo part, we will say it's a brand. Then about these things, we are just writing here. Sorry. href hash arrow. Normally in all the points that we will be seeing index.html, abortus.html, contact us.html, like this, a link. But this time, as we are saying that this is a single page, and when you click on this, it needs to be navigated to this within the page to the particular section, particular portion of that where it is giving information about the hero. That's why we have to give an hash that is an ID then name of that ID. Inside this. Right here, sorry. Right here. H1. Inside this. And. For example, if you are having a name, OK. Mm. Saint John. Something else or as John Paul. Something else. OK, so OK, Saint John. Let's write for example. So I'm just giving Saint in the span. John. And then. If you even again require one more. The span. Whereas. A D as a what do you say middle name or an initial or surname. And then. Paul. What we are trying to do here is instead of just simply displaying that name. Saint John D. Paul. We are planning to make it something. Highlight of that or differentiating that. What do you say? A normal characters, a name and the. What do you say? OK, let's write here, Mr. Just for an understanding, we don't say Saint Mr. Mr. John D. Paul. So Mr. Should something that should be something else here, whereas D something it should be different right? like this that we have planned. So come out of that due, which is a branch. 
then you class now hyphen list inside this we are planning to create a bar that we can say do class is a common word in CSS that we can say hamburger. You can also write a strip or now bar. Anything that you can write. Inside this. Writing a class B A R. So so far we have done something work here. We have started with the concept of hey, section header. Inside this we have planned the now bar inside the nav bar the logo and the nav list and what is that nav list you are writing here an url that nav list okay that nav list also should be inside this bar so the nav list hamburger a bar after this right list a href so let's just copy this one services projects about contact something like this so hash hero okay let's write here for a home whereas about me right now because we are writing about this person whereas at last contact me and in middle that what are the services that this person is giving and what are the projects that this person completed or done so right here hash about hash services hash projects and then hash contact okay great that we have if you observe overall we are done a pointer or part of a section of header but OK, let's just go to the output and just refresh. The total content is alignment center. Right and with Mr. John Paul, sorry, Mr. John D. Paul and home about is all this points. Looking something better, not totally outside of bound. Something better with a blue color. Of course, a list of items. OK, great. Now. Let's start off working on this. So, go to HTML. So, what are the classes that we have to plan here? Header. Set to ID. So, ID, header, class, header. Container already we have written right now just now here. Container something else we have given here. And then now bar brand we have to write at the same time for anchor for H1 span. At the same time when you just come down for the hamburger, now list, bar, whereas anchor element with the LIs. So too many things we have to write. Okay. Let's first start with the concept of. Saying that header section hash header and this needs to be fixed. We can say position fixed. Z index that it should give preference. You can write one or you can write thousand. You can write nine nine nine. That is positive, which is giving foreground. Foreground. Whereas left that is 
from left, we don't want any gap. At the same time, from top, sorry. From top, we don't want any gap. And the width, 100 vertical width. Whereas height is auto, we are setting that. Depends upon the content. The properties that we have given here. OK. And inside the header, we have header class. So let's write. Write. The first selector, which is an ID that is hash header space. Dot. Header that means. This is a class. It should be inside the ID of that header. When it is matching the condition, you are minimum saying that minimum height, maybe eight or five vertical height. And background color, I am just writing here RGB A opacity. Just make it something, it's your wish. You can also just go to the Google and you can say HTML color codes. You can just check it out, whatever the color that you want, and you can apply. 30, 31, 31, 30, 30, and even saying that opacity. Let's make it something 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, something whatever it is. And this should be applicable, not immediately, a simple small gap. In the gap of 0 0.3 seconds is to the background color. To the background color. Let's check it out what we have done so far. Right, the height is automatically increasing, whereas nice background with a light gray color. It's not showing originality. We have reduced that opacity right. Then, now, we have now bar where we have now bar that is also inside. See if you observe. Inside the header ID. We have header. Inside that header ID we have even now list. That means you even have to get clarity one point here. I will just recap or else I will show you here. You can say. TOM OK. HTML TOM node uh, DOM node tree. Just click on images. Just check it. Uh, okay, I'm just clicking on this for timing. Okay. HTML. Okay, this is forget about it. Document. HTML is a parent to head and body. That means HTML space head that works. HTML space body that works. At the same time, under the head, we have title. HTML space title. Yes, that is also will work. Here, if you observe, it is a parent to head. Head is a parent to title. So, a parent of parent or child of child. We can say parent of parent is grandparent right now. Child of child is grandchild right now. So we say. When you give. Particular selector space. Another selector. That means you have to check it out. Somewhere else it is connected. Either it can be a child or grandchild. That's enough. And you can apply the properties. If you give, for example, HTML greater than symbol title, then it won't apply because of the greater than symbol will not accept you to write the properties to the title. Sorry, will not apply the properties to the title when it is no direct relationship. That's the point you have to observe space and greater than symbol. Here, that's why we are writing here. Let's write hash. And now bar, right? Now hyphen 
bar. It should be adjustable. The items inside this should be adjustable. Display flex and align items center. Justify content space between from one item to another item. Then the width 100 percentage, whereas height 100 percentage. And the max width is you can write max width 1300 pixels. Overall padding top, we don't want anything, but whereas right and left of this nav bar should give something space. Then let's just refresh our page adjustment varies. Right now, as you have given to make it a display flex, so overall it's giving preference to adjustment of items in the given strip. Now you have to concentrate on the concept of the list of items. So just make it here. Hash. Header. Inside the now bar. Inside the now bar. If you observe, we have brand and now list also. Now let's write. So you can write now list. The meaning of this statement is grand parent grand child combination you are writing now. And inside this UL. In the now list, we have UL right now. And the items which are inside this, we are saying that none. And position, it exactly to be, to be located there itself. And background, color, RGBA, or you can say RGB, 31, 30, 30. Width, 100 vertical width, height, 100 vertical height, and left, 100 percentage, we are giving a left, and top, we don't want anything. And these items also should be that list of items, not inline flex. So overall, we are creating this concept with a flex because the items that needs to be adjustable, very flexible, along with the rest of the items. Then flex direction column justify content. Center and then align items. Center. Then Z index. One. Then overflow X. X axis if it is overflowing, we are hiding that things, the item which is inside the UL items and the transition. We are just setting that in the gap of 0 0.5 seconds is especially for left. Just the UL is just given. Defaultly, it's hidden. Why it's hidden means, of course, we are saying that the top 0, okay, left 100 percentage, left to 1 pixel means. Left 10 pixels means left 20, left 30. Okay, but totally we are giving left 100 percentage. Yes, we'll plan in further points. The UL box, inside that UL box, we have list of items, right? Li. So what you can write? Hash header dot now hyphen list UL dot active when it is an active 
we get zero percentage of left. Now concentrate on the anchor element which are inside this. OK, let's let's remove this one. Let's check it out. What's the change? Thing else. Let's even open, for example, control shift I. OK, it's. Giving like this. OK, for timing, we are not going to bother at this moment. Just make it full. Now. Hash. Header. Now list. UL and anchor element. Font size 2.5 REM. Font weight. Then letter spacing 0 0.2. Something giving. See, it's not exactly that you have to go this point it is just depends upon your requirement you can just change the properties giving something each and every property is having its usage in terms of alignment and proper way of presentation of the content and then text decoration none whereas color sorry color white and then text trans text to transform make it uppercase all the characters will be uppercase and then padding 20 pixels and display all the items in the given dimensions now to the anchor element we have given all these properties first of all it is not displaying. OK. Let's write. Header. Now list. U L. A. Colon colon after that is once the anchor element content is loaded. So anchor element is loaded. The content with an attribute that you are setting. Data hyphen after the meaning of this one is after and before we have already seen which is we can say sort of classes and once that anchor element loaded then immediately you are setting data hyphen after to that what is it attribute to the anchor element to the anchor element you are adding an attribute data hyphen after then Make it a position absolute. Whereas from top give some gap. For example, 50 percentage. Whereas from left give some gap of 50 percentage. Transform. Apply something effect here. Translate. Minus 50 percentage. Minus 50 percentage. Additionally, scale zero defaultly. And then color RGB A. OK, yes, you have plan to give something 240, 248, 255, 0 0.021. Then font size 13 REM. A letter spacing. Giving more gap that is 50 pixels. Whereas Z index. It's behind. And the transition in 0 0.3 seconds is letter spacing letter hyphen spacing and when you place a mouse over on each and every ally so 
what we have done so far. Let's just check it out here. Let's write. Hash. Header. Dot. Now list. U L. When you place a mouse or on li after anchor element loads just make it a transform and take it applet translate minus 50 percentage comma minus 50 percentage additionally now increase the scale one and then letter spacing make it initial so as of now nothing else you are seeing header part we are just setting the list of items there is navigation part and before and after and now hash header now list u l l i when you place a mouse over on l i and then to the anchor element defaultly let's make it something color something crimson so here we have given first point header we have started with the header section and then the main header part and we started with the nav bar inside this nav list then now Let's do one thing. Let's add even some additional properties. Like we can say about the header, a section, section part also. We will be writing section IT. Let's move to this. The first part we have given directly with section, of course, ID with the now bar inside that now bar brand at the same time now list. Now let's write a section title, font size, four or five REM, font weight. And then color black margin bottom ten pixels, then text transform with uppercase letter spacing something zero point two REM. Then text align center. Inside this, inside the text align, sorry, inside that section title, we even writing a simple element. We can say span. So section title space span just applying for time being color with something crimson and gta that is common which is nothing but call to action cta a strip we have to or we are going to write inside this 
display inline block then giving something space padding top 10 pixels and then right and top top and bottom right and left whereas color background color transparent border to pixel solid crimson something like a solid color right and then font size to rem and then text transform upper case the call to action whereas if you observe overall in all the cases we are just putting common properties just give something space here and there whereas letter spacing 0 0.1 rem and then margin top make it something 30 pixels then transition 0 0.3 seconds is Additionally, you can also write transition property to the bag, background, color at the same time, color both the things. And when you place a mouse over on CTA, CTA colon, over, just make it something a color white and then background color crimson meaning here we have to color white background color transparent here color white background color crimson then additionally we have brand right now for the navigation sorry in the header part brand and the two we have given h1 so font size 3 rem then text transform with an uppercase and then color make it that's one and then additionally in the h1 we have given additional span so brand the h1 plus pan so color crimson just check it out the thing what we have done great see span is showing a crimson color whereas the rest of the colors sorry, the rest of things are just showing in white color and of course just make it this rainbow this one let's watch okay if you feel something at too much bigger name you can just make it simply T, Paul, or John, something, whatever it is, that's not it. Okay. So that's now. So far, we got a clarity with the concept of header planning and the two logo or brand that we have done so far. Let's move to the concept of further steps in. We will plan the navigation also, but navigation here we have planned to make it something a functionality part. So as of now, anyway, uh, when you open in a wider width, in a large devices, defaultly how it will show, we'll see. But when you make it something uh, in a responsive mode, we can say in the mobile or tablet, then how that it needs to be adjustable, that needs to be get some programming part, this part, with the concept of HTML and CSS to get a clarity how you can create a simple page and landing page or one page or we can say parallel page. This is what in a response to the contents how it will be we are discussing. Whereas the action parts of navigation with the different resolutions will be done with the programming and that will be enhanced after 
or when you have good idea about the concept of JavaScript. So the same project what we are doing here, this will be even enhanced with what do you say in JavaScript also. But that's a later point. In this section, we are especially given preference and understanding concept is how far that we can make it a nice website designing with the HTML and CSS. And the next part will continue with the sections of content, services, and about us, all the rest of the points. Thank you.